Hello, my dear gardeners. Insecticidal soaps. They can be a great help for the insect controller, insect manager in the gardens. But in order to use well those soaps in the gardens, we need to know how they work, how they interact with soft-bodied insects, their target section of insects, their advantages and their disadvantages. So let's talk about insecticidal soaps in our gardens. Thank you for watching. Olga Carmody here with you today. So, insecticidal soap. They, most of them consist of, when you look at the active ingredients, you will see potassium salts and fatty acids. And those uh, substances consist only of 1% of uh, the filling of this bottle. All the rest is fillings. So what do they do to the insects? Well, they interfere with the membranes of the cells of the insects. They dissolve and insects die very quickly. Uh, one very important thing to remember about insecticidal soap is that they target only soft-bodied insects. When we look at beetles in our gardens, beetles have very good protection, right? So this probably wouldn't be the best product for those. Eggs cannot be harmed by insecticidal soaps. But when we know the life cycle of the pest, which is very important to generally know if you try to, if you see something in the garden, first step would be to figure out what it is, then to learn about the life cycle of this pest, learn when would be the best time of the year to target that pest, and then decide if you can do the least toxic thing in, for your garden and your environment and to yourself. And I must say that insecticidal soaps would be the first uh, uh, very mild uh, uh, product to use. And when you look at the label, you will see that it is good for aphids, white flies, spider mites, scales and thrips. So all of them, what unites this group of pests, would be that they are soft-bodied. So they die quickly and uh, that population is wiped out. Um, insecticidal soap can be very lightly, um, I wouldn't say harmful, but it can uh, disrupt uh, a little bit the life of honeybees and some um, predatory wasps. It can be very destruct uh, destructive to um, predatory mites. So again, watchful eye, attention to details, to the life cycle of the pest, we'll, uh, with that knowledge we would be able to use this soap uh, very e effectively and not harmful to the environment and also beneficial insect in the garden. So very effective against soft-bodied insects. Insecticidal soap doesn't stay in the soil. Once it dries up, all the beneficial insects can come back with no problem. If the leaf is sprayed with the soap and then the soap dries, in case beneficial insect or let's say ma mammal will eat that leaf, there would be no effect. Residual, residual effect is not there. So all this makes this soap very good to use in case we want to control um, you know, an infestation. The other day when I was filming another video, in the middle of the video I saw that my uh, annuals in the, at the porch had white flies covered with white flies. And of course I didn't see it on time, the beginning of infestation. So what I did, I used insecticidal soap and today my annuals look so much better because what those Usually soft-bodied insects, a lot of them are sucking insects, so they suck the juice out of the leaves and stems, and if there are a lot of them, they really can destroy the plant. Okay, so these are the benefits of soaps. They can be a best friend of the gardener, but there are limitations. And limitations are fall as followed. Insecticidal soap is good only on soft-bodied insects. You cannot use it everywhere on everything which is generally not recommended. Then, once you spray it once, let's say with aphids, there are many generations of aphids. And insecticidal soap, once you do it once, you will wipe those aphids, but then next generation will be born and they are not going to be affected by the previous spray of soap. So you have to repeat it again. So be ready to do repeated applications. 
that's disadvantage number one. Another disadvantage is that you have to be really thorough how you s uh, sp uh, spray the surface of the plant. If you have a lot of uh, uh, parasites hiding underneath the leaves, you have to spray uh, all the area underneath the leaves. If this soap does not come into contact with the pest, pest is safe. So thorough application is very important. There is also a window during the day when we can apply insecticidal soaps when they are recommended. Of course, no sunny conditions, not very windy conditions. Usually in the morning or in the evening when temperatures are not high. Why is that? Well, the slower the soap dries up, the better the benefit. Also in the morning and in the evening, those beneficial bees and other bugs are not present. So even if those uh, beneficial insects are affected just a little bit by the soap, still it's a good thing to avoid them. And then during the day they can safely come back since the soap will dry up. Another limitation of soaps would be that they can be harmful to some of the plants. And toxicity can uh, be shown in burning leaves, in yellowing leaves. And if you're not sure if your plant uh, would be um, sensitive to insecticidal soaps, do spray a little bit of branch or little cluster of leaves and see what the reaction. And uh, this is a group of plants which uh, surely will have the bad reaction to the soaps, so we shouldn't use soaps on those plants. Um, also, if you have a diseased plant, a young plant, a transplanted plant, a stressed plant, uh, toxicity can be higher. The response to insecticidal soap would be more negative, might be more negative. So just keep that in mind, that there are limitations of soaps and we just have to be vigilant how we use them in the garden. So again, if you understand the limitations and benefits of uh, insecticidal soaps, we can use them to the great advantage in the gardens. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in my next video. Happy gardening!